For these next four examples, we're going to evaluate functions where we have variable expressions. If f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5, find f of 4n. This time we want to change all of the x's in the function to 4n's. So f of 4n, instead of 3 times x squared minus 5, we get 3 times something squared minus 5. We switch out the x with the 4n. Well, we have to figure out what 4n squared is. Well, that's just going to break up as 4n times 4n. So I have 3 times 4n times 4n minus 5. Well, that becomes 3 times 16n squared minus 5. And 3 times 16n squared is 48n squared minus 5. These are not like terms, so you cannot subtract and simplify that any further. So this is the final step. f of 4n equals 48n squared minus 5. In our next example, if h of x equals x plus 3 divided by 2x plus 1, find h of x plus 1. So we're going to change all of the x's in h to the group x plus 1's. So h of x plus 1 on top of the fraction, instead of x plus 3, we get what plus 3? Well, that becomes x plus 1 plus 3. On the denominator, instead of 2 times x plus 1, we have 2 times what plus 1? Well, that becomes 2 times x plus 1 plus 1. And we do need to simplify, clear any parentheses. So in the numerator, x plus 1 plus 3 is x plus 4. In the denominator, we can distribute the 2 to clear the parentheses, and that becomes 2x plus 2, 2 times x and 2 times 1, but we then have plus 1. So that simplifies to 2x plus 3. So h of x plus 1 is x plus 4 divided by 2x plus 3. In our next example, if f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 2x, find f of negative x. So this time I want to change all of the x's in f to negative x's. So f of negative x, instead of 3 times x squared, we get 3 times what squared? Well, that would be 3 times negative x squared. And then we have minus 2x becomes minus 2 times negative x. So squaring negative x, Negative x squared is negative x times negative x, and that becomes positive x squared. So we have um, 3 times negative x squared is just 3x squared. And then we have minus 2 times negative x, and that 2 negatives make a positive, so that just becomes plus 2x. Now these are not like terms. 3x squared plus 2x, you cannot add that or simplify that. For our final example, we have g of x equals x minus 3. We want to find g of z plus 5. So we want to change all the x's in the function to z plus 5 groups. So g of z plus 5, instead of x minus 3, we get what minus 3? Well, we get z plus 5 minus 3. We don't have any number to distribute into the parentheses, so we can just say that that is z plus 5 minus 3, and that simplifies to z plus 2. So g of z plus 5 is equal to z plus 2.